Hey everybody, Canada Graphs here with another set report for Supergirl Season 6, Episode 14, directed by Simon Burnett. And uh, there's two different sets of scenes here. The first is outside of uh, BC Place. They did some stunt work that uh, was taking place on one day. Um, you can see them practicing here. This is uh, them just rehearsing stuff. Um, you can see uh, Sentinel and Guardian there at the very end. So they're in the scene for uh, the superheroes that are in the scene. You can, you can actually see Sentinel's uh, stunt double and as he both are there uh, working on it. Here's uh, a couple of them just uh, in between takes. This is uh, more of the take. Yeah, you can see them in like full battle here and uh, doing doing what they need to do in the scene. Um, you know, each each move is choreographed out to, to look exactly the way they want it to look uh, so that when they finally do do the scene it uh, flows properly they practice the, the design of it a lot um, these other scenes are from the day that Katie McGrath and uh, Staz Nair are on set as Lena Luther and William Day um, so there is a fire in this scene for some reason and um, you'll see in a few minutes when they do the scene that uh, this first, this first clip I have is actually pretty long. It's like a two and a half minute clip. So um, it, there's a couple minutes where they're not really doing the scene. They're just standing around and waiting. And uh, well, the crew works on getting the fire started and getting ready to do the scene. Um, you know, the fire, fire can't just be like a random natural occurring fire. They have to have everything placed exactly the way they want so that everything uh, works the way they want when they finally get to doing the scene so uh, you know it's a complicated process for something as simple as filming a little scene about a fire on a beach so in the scene you'll see here uh, Lena has a book in her hand and she has a vial in her hand and you'll see that uh, Staz is holding a notepad in his hand so he's taking notes on something well, Lena is reading from the book, and then she's going to put her hand to her ear in a moment, kind of like as if she's listening to someone on a calm, and she's communicating with someone, kind of like, uh, so what am I supposed to do here? And uh, eventually she uh, finishes that, and then she puts the book down, opens the vial, and she pours this mysterious green liquid into the fire, and I don't know why. <laughs> Hopefully one of you that watches it will have a better idea. Um, it might, they might not have explained uh, in the storyline yet why, what that's for. But if you have any ideas, I guess now's a good time to theorize on them. And then they just, they do this, like, stand there and stare at the fire. Like, they don't run away or anything, but eventually they look, oh, there we go. Uh, they do look up at something that is flying away and I don't know if it came from the fire or did it fly overhead. Um, I never quite got an idea why that was. But yeah, that was more or less the full scene. Um, here's another clip of it from, for a uh, different take they were doing. This time she puts her hand to the other ear. I don't know if maybe in the first take she was kind of like, oh, this doesn't work as smoothly for me. Like, uh, you know, Lena, Lena maybe in the first take was, or Katie, sorry, in the first take was kind of like, you know what, this is more complicated. Let me do it with the other ear. Um, so here she is. She's going to pour that uh, liquid into the fire again. And I still don't know what it does. All I know is it is green in color. Um, maybe she's a witch now? I don't know. <laughs> uh, so Lena is, seems to be maybe saying something, maybe summoning something. Uh, hard to tell there. I mean, she's got her eyes closed, kind of looks like she's doing a spell. And then they look up at that thing that's apparently flying away, and there it goes. And that's all I have of this scene. Uh, and uh, here is some still photos from those two sets. The first here is outside BC Place Stadium. They had a bunch of banners up with some fake names on them for this big event that was supposed to be going on there. 
that's the clapperboard from the event, so that way you know it's from 614. Here's all the extras that were standing around waiting to shoot that scene. You know, you can see Guardian and uh, Sentinel out there on the uh, platform. And you see that guy falling down the stairs at uh, Guardian had just knocked down the stairs. You can see someone getting kicked in the background there. Uh, you, there was a lot of like little details like that. Like off to the far right there, you can see two people swinging like tire irons at each other. It was a lot of choreographed uh, hit moves that, uh, from the right angle, look very impressive. Sometimes, if you get them from the wrong angle, they, you can tell how far away they really are. There's Ozzy uh, waving hello to one of her fans up on the bridge that was standing near me. Um, she had a brief conversation, uh, even though it was about 50 feet apart. <laughs> there, there was literally no physical way to do that. Uh, there's Kyler also waving at everybody. Um, there, there was, there's a gap between where they were and where the viewing area for everyone was. No physical way to get over there. Um, here are shots from the Katie McGraw and Stasnier part of the shoot. There they are walking to set. They had, uh, they had just gone for a walk and came back and, um, there's Katie on set. She's got that book in her hand. Uh, pardon the watermarks, but uh, I have had a few fans from particular fandoms that get very uh, entitled to photos and take out the watermarks of certain people. So I got a little more creative with them this last time. Um, so, if you're looking at him going, man, that's a lot of watermarks, you know, there, there's a reason for it. Um, there she is doing that scene again. Um, here they are looking up into the sky at whatever that thing was that blew up out of the fire. Staz uh, kind of just has a stern look on his face and Katie's like staring off in the distance. Got this curious look on her face. Don't know what it's for, but uh, I think that was actually in between takes, though. So, just uh, she keeps looking off to the side, and I don't recall why. Um, you can see her holding that vial in her hand with the liquid, and there's the clapper board from that day. And um, what was the other thing here? Oh yeah, there's the clapper board in front of her. <laughs> And um, I think, is that the last photo? I think that might be the last photo I have from this set. Um, let's make sure, I can't remember what I edited in. Yeah, that's the last photo from this set. Uh, so I will have more coming up for episode 616 in the future. That'll uh, probably be a couple of weeks or more still. Um, I mean, it took me about a month to get to this one. So just look for those in the future. Thanks for coming by, uh, bye.